Well guys, good morning. Just, is it morning still? It's about midday, it's thereabouts. We've made it to Shugbra Hall. The car park is rammed. I literally found probably one of the last few parking spots. So I don't know what it's gonna be like inside the mansion. We've paid back there to get in. So uh, I'm just gonna take this as it comes to see if I can do some sort of investigation depending on how many people there are. So hopefully, this might be a good one. So behind me guys, there's the mansion. We're just about to go into it. Allegedly, it's haunted by two ghosts. And I was reading up on it last night and being a mind, having a mind like a sieve. I forgot which one, so far. I'm sure there's both female ghosts. But yeah. The kitchens are supposed to be the most haunted and somewhere upstairs, I believe. And it'll probably be sod's law we're not allowed in the kitchens, but I don't know. We'll find out when we get inside. But let's hope we can find something spooky. Well, I've just been told we can't record the upstairs. Yeah, the apartments. Because of the apartments. Apparently, it's something to do with copyright because of photos on the wall. Let's see if we can ignore that. I'm recording on my phone. Good. Holly's recording on her phone so she could send us yeah, some, some files over. Marvellous. Right, we'll just see how this goes. As I say, guys, I'm not too sure how it's going to pan out because it's open to the public and there's many people here. So uh, it might be a good video, paranormal wise, it might not, I don't know, but we shall see. Okay. You do know you can take photographs as long as you want down here. Yeah, yeah. Once you get in the apartment, it's copyright. Yeah, no oh, worries. Right. That's okay. it, why, is, why is it copyright? You said mention photographs. Oh, right, because down here is the mansion. Yeah. Up there is Patrick Litchfield's apartment. Oh, they're the apartments, the Patrick private Litchfield ones. Patrick Litchfield was Patrick Anson, right? Yeah, yeah. Patrick Litchfield was a celebrity photographer in the 1960s. Oh, okay. I'm old enough to remember him. He was one of the yeah. new photographers. Right. So a lot of his stuff is up there and it's owned by Getty. So there's copyright on it. Oh, so if you take right. photographs yeah. up there, yeah, you're sure. getting there. Yeah. Calendars in there. Yeah, no, we'll leave that. I'll leave that bit out. Yeah, yeah so no worries. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> can we go in the kitchens? Can you go in the in the kitchen? Yes, you can you go can. in the kitchens and you can take anywhere yeah. except where. Because I'm interested in the paranormal side of this place. All right. Yeah, I understand it's been haunted by two spirits. Well, one they say once right. is a woman who was was had to leave here and she didn't want to leave and she kept coming back. Yeah. That's what they say. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I read that the kitchen is supposed to be one of the most paranormal, but I don't know. I don't know about the kitchen. So. I haven't heard about the kitchen. This was a bedroom that I heard about only last oh, week. Right. So. One of the bedrooms. Mm. Yeah. So, after talking to that lady there, she seems to, th she heard last week that the ghost was haunting the upstairs. And I read it was the basement, that's uh, so the kitchen. But we'll just take it as it comes.
lots of pens, aren't there? Size of that mirror. So, if there are any spirits in this mansion that do haunt this place, feel free to come forward and show yourself in front of us. Feel free to show yourself on this camera throughout our journey through here. And any spirits that wander this area that we're not allowed, come and show yourself. Make any sounds, but please try and show yourself on the camera. It's one of them. Do you know what that is? Not really. What they used to do is, right, a man would stand there, and a man would stand there, and they would lift it up, you know, carry the person in there. I'm all right, right? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen one of these in person. Why is there a mirror on the floor? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Don't ask. <laughs> Command spirits, anything that haunts this place, come out and show yourself. So in the event anything paranormal does come up here, I've got Holly carrying a K2, because you just never know. Keep an eye on that. Mm. That spiked a little for a second there, but yeah, look, it's
little bit of activity there. Mm. Get some energy on this hat. Mm. Man, it might that, be the camera, I don't know. Could be, if you move it away a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the camera picking that up. Yeah. I thought it's maybe... Close to the camera. No, stop now. Haunted object, oh, okay. Some objects are known to uh, have attachments, so I had to do it. Is it that way? Or is it that way? Yeah, you had to do it. I had to do this. Oh my god, I look ridiculous. <laughs> That's funny. I can't tell if that's the microphone. It That'll be, be the microphone yeah. setting off. <laughs> yeah, it's keep it's gone off again in the same place. Mm -hmm. Little spike. Whoa. That's a strong energy here. Any spirits in this area here? Come forward. Come on, show, show yourself. Oh, it's dropped. Okay. Here you go, another spike. It's alright, you pass okay, if you want. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to hold you up. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> Here we are. Come on, spirit, show yourself. Make it call to red. Hold it to red. Keeps coming and going, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, there's definitely some energy in this room. Mm. I'd use a REM pod, which will probably um, scare the living crap out of people <laughs> if I put the REM pod on, so probably not that. <laughs> I don't know, I'll put it on the chair. Yeah, I'll put it on the chair. You never know. Yeah, there you go. The spirits will be following us, hopefully. Oh, this is a, uh, this has got a spooky feel to this room. It's a shame we can't go over there. As you can see, it's a makeshift barrier off. 
Well, this has got a weird feel in this room. This is flickering. Were any spirits in this room with us? Gonna come forward and touch something, move something. Let me hear your voice. Whisper, moan, groan. The device in my daughter's hand, if you touch it, you'll make it go to red. Can you do that? Go and make it spike up to red. Knock it out of her hand. That's it. Thank you. If you want to come forward and tell me your name. Just talk into the device that I'm holding. It'll pick up your voice. Can you take it back up to red? Please. Go on, to red. Hold it to red for a few seconds if you can. Well, you're getting halfway there. Another little spike, please, just to show your presence. Please. Don't you want to communicate now? Wow, that's strong, that. Thank you for doing that. Now what I'll ask you now is to come and show yourself in this room if you can, or any room that we wander into. If you could show yourself, that would be great. And it's not just the camera setting it off because it, you can see it comes and it goes. Go on, take out the red again, please. Hold it red. That's brilliant, that. thank you. This strong energy. I did say that this room did feel a bit weird, a bit eerie. It's strong energy. What about this room? We're getting a huge spike in this room as well. And just to show guys, it's not the camera. That's the camera right over the K2. If anything, it would be setting that off. 
a lot into the red. Move that back. That's it. Grab that device and hold it to red if you can. This room doesn't feel as eerie as the last one I was in. However, there is some sort of presence in here. Sorry if I'm whispering, guys. I'm talking a lot. I've got to keep my voice down because it's one of them, isn't it? When you're in here with a shed load of other people. But yeah, I can see now in Holly's hand it's spiking up again. Another closer look. Take it a red. Take it a yellow. Thank you. Yes, this place has a lot of energy. Sorry. Oh, this is the upstairs part yes. now, isn't it? Okay, I'm yeah, going to switch this off. Yeah, I mean, it's not, you may as well turn it off for now, because I I don't know. Well, we've just been upstairs, and um, considering everything upstairs is copyrighted, it's only photographs what the Earl has taken. And those photographs is just photographs of the royal family and the odd celebrity and uh, it was worth going as we was here but really it wasn't that fantastic was it the downstairs is better but the downstairs is such a quick walk around 
for the money we're paid to get in here, really, I thought it would be a good hour around. But um, yeah, you can do it in 10 minutes. But as we're here, I just wanted to come back to this room where currently we're getting little spikes again on the K2. So any spirit want to come forward in this room, come and show yourself, come and stand by that door. Make the door close if you can. Turn the light off. Can you make this device go to red just one last time? Right up to red. It has been very active inside of this building. Mm. It has its moments where it settles like now. But when I call out and say, can you change that and make it go to red? or spike it way up to yellow. Hold it there if you can. It does it when it wants to. And it's gone quiet again. Come on, come forward and grab that device. Even if you take it halfway, if you can hold it there for a couple of seconds, that'd be great. Whoa, straight to red there. Is this the female ghost that's been seen here? Can you take that to red or yellow? I assume it is. Yeah. I don't believe there's uh, a male spirit seen here. Or maybe there is. But this is the female spirit, isn't it? Big spike for yes. Thank you. For like kitchen area. I wonder if this has got uh, a lot of energy. Inside of the uh, servants' quarters here, Man, there's a lot of silver there. Look at that. You get any little spikies here? Whoa, yep. just turn that on, that is strong energy in here. Yeah. I wonder if this is where the uh, ghost was and seen. that's what Jacob and that's who make the engine. By the look of it, it is. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Show yourself if you can, please. Just straight off. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yes. just went straight off. Yeah. 
You can't tell me that was fake. Hey, what? You can't tell me this is fake. No, absolutely. Oh, laundry area. Oh, yeah. You're right. Man, look at this. Looks like a medieval torture device. <laughs> Look at the old lions. Now that's sad. <laughs> Compared to modern day. He put them on a, something hot, like a hot stone or a piece of metal. You know, before your washing room, uh, washing machine span to get rid of the water. You put it through one of them. You put your clothes in there and you turn it. And it'll wring the water out. Is that what you mean, Dad? And here's your, yeah, here's your old uh, washing machine. <laughs> Crazy, eh? Got any energy in here? There is. That. But they're hoses now, so they grow. It just goes to show that this place is very active. Mm. Very active in here. I'd love to get in here at night time. Are you willing to pay a few thousand? Nope. <laughs> Especially as you can't go upstairs. Well, you can't video upstairs. I don't know. But... Oh, the second you put the camera on it. I know, the second I put the camera on it, it stops. Go on, do it again, please. Go on, do that, take a, oh, it's going to red. Yeah. Go on, take that to red again, please. Just before we leave this room, take it to red if you can. Energy's gone. It's weird because I feel that the room's got a little bit colder as well. Yeah, I feel that as well. Yeah. When we walked in here, it was like a proper laundry room. Well, it is a laundry room, but you know what I mean? But it was really hot. And it's gone really cold. But the K2's just stopped. Completely. How bizarre. Can you make it go to red just one last time before we leave here? Have you moved to another location? Gone quiet, guys. Oh, this is going up now. Going off out here? Yeah. Are any spirits with me outside? Gonna come back with us. Grab that device, please. Speak into the device that I'm holding. Let me hear your voice. Maybe show your presence on the camera. This courtyard here reminds me a little bit of, remember when we went to Shrewsbury Prison? Yeah. You know, the outside courtyard. Just reminds me a bit like that. <laughs> Is this the haunted kitchen, I wonder? Can you come forward and show yourself in here? I tell you, it's a funny smell in here. Almost smells rubbery, like a rubbery smell. Weird smell. You know, like when you open a pack of balloons or something and you get the rubbery smell on your fingers. It smells like that. 
strange. No spikes. Can you come and touch that device in Holly's hand, please? Show your presence in this area. If you've got the energy to do that, come forward, please. Use the device's energy or our energy. Could you make something move? That's hanging on the wall, maybe. One of the dead pheasants, the dead ducks. Quiet. Whoa, look at that. Jesus. Ah, it's a solid red, now it's stopped. That has to be still... That has to be still spirits in this area, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Day and night. Is there a spirit sat in that chair, I wonder? It's all to make the place look like it was. No. Oh. Like a, I think the energy is just all around this place. Yeah. It's amazing how much energy we've captured actually on that K2 today. Anybody that's into cooking, if you want a gingerbread recipe, just pause the video and write that down, yeah. And I might just do that myself. <laughs> We're off deer hunting. <laughs> now I am quite a good shot with a ball. However, yeah, but with a these. real ball. This. Ooh. That wasn't bad for the first shot. <laughs> Where's the arrow go? Get out in a minute. I mean, come on, that wasn't too bad, was it? It was a first shot. Right, here we go. Pick a number on the target. You're going to pick the 10 on you, the bullseye. Uh, I'll make it easy, go eight. Close enough. Well, it's in line with the eight, sort of. <laughs> See if you can get a bullseye. Bullseye. Two out of three in bad, is it? Yeah. Do you want to go? No. Go on. No. Seriously. No, I'm good. That would make a massive fire, wouldn't it? What? Seriously. Well, you know, a big camping area and a big massive fire at the end of it. Burgers, roast potatoes and foil, chuck it on the fire, delicious. Is it just me or fancy a bacon sandwich? <laughs> Well guys, that was Shugborough Hall. Hopefully we may have got some disembodied voices in there. Um, I would like to see that we got some sort of apparition picked up on the video. I guess I'll find out when I do the uh, editing. So um, it wasn't too bad, was it? I mean, price wise, I'm mourning about the price earlier, but I mean, <laughs> you got to do these things, haven't you? Um, it's a shame we couldn't video upstairs Although all you did on the phone. <laughs> but mine was a bit obvious. I've um, got an hour and seven minutes of footage. Yeah. So basically that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did, don't forget to give it a little like and subscribe to the channel if you're new and uh, hit the post notification bell as always for upcoming new videos. 
and I'll see you guys all on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye for now.